Now, Knox County commissioners have just approved forgiving more than $800,000 in fines owed by the county's ambulance provider. AMR says hospital backups caused response time delays. The company blames COVID's impact on health care. Tanisha Porter Cole Sullivan joins us to explain why the virus continues to cause problems. Cole? Robin, it's a capacity issue at crowded hospitals, but also staffing problems. AMR says it's still not up to pre-pandemic staff levels and other ambulance services are hurting even more. In emergencies, time is tissue. Fast medical intervention can save lives. For Knox County's ambulance provider, time is also money. We happen to hit level zero and we hold an emergency, that's a $5,000 penalty. If ambulances take too long to arrive at emergencies, company AMR owes the county cash. Lately, it's added up. County commissioners say AMR owes 30 times more for January alone than it did in all of 2019. Over the last several months, we've certainly seen uh, a health care crisis in Knox County. The company says ambulances get stuck waiting at hospitals because emergency rooms are too full. That leaves fewer crews, which slows response times and leads to fines. All in favor, please say aye. Now, AMR, the hospitals and county commissioners want to forgive nearly $900,000 in fines for December and January. And they want to continue that relief through April. AMR operations manager Daryl Warren says COVID's waning grip has helped the company. We are seeing a decrease in Omicron and variant, and with that, we are seeing a decrease in how many hours it takes us to offload our patients. But hiring enough paramedics and EMTs remains a struggle. So completely different worlds that, that we, we live in today compared to uh, pre-COVID. And it's not just AMR in Knox County that's facing this struggle. It's across our region. I spoke earlier with the head of the Morristown Hamblin Ambulance Service. He says he only has 60% of the staff, paramedic staff he needs, and he might ask, have to ask the county government for funding for benefits and pay incentives to get more. That'll be the first time he's ever had to do that. Robin John.